Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the booleans inside Power Apps. I'm just going to give a simple explanation about what they are and how they are used, because some people don't come from the tech background and they may not know about this concept, and it's very important among all the apps. Okay, so let's look at my screen and understand that a little bit more. Here I have this app just to demonstrate the concept. First, I'm just giving this introduction about the other data types that we already know. For example, we have texts that we learned how to read, read and write texts since kids. So for us, it's very intuitive. Texts are also called as strings inside programming. And it's like this, some texts that we can type and read. Okay, we also have numbers, so we already know how to read and write numbers too. Okay, but what about this? What about when I have this type of elements inside our apps, where you have only two options? So checked or unchecked, off or on, and so on. We have only two options that could be represented as yes or no, or one or zero. Checked is one, unchecked is zero. But also, we call that those booleans because we can see them as true or false. That's what the app will understand. For example, when we have this checked, it means true. When we have this unchecked, it means false. And we are going to use this information inside formulas in the app to conditionally say to the app what it needs to do or to show, to hide things. Soon we are going to see with this image. But right now, let's understand, let's see the app getting these values as true or false. Let me exit the play modes. Here I have a checkbox that I just inserted here on inserts, classic components, inputs, and then checkbox. And also I have a toggle button I went here to insert, inputs, and then I selected toggle. Okay, I gave some names to them. This one is CHK option that comes from check box, that's just a standard name. And this one is TGL on off. That means my toggle right here. Okay, I'm going to insert a label, a text label, and put close of my check box. So we can get the output of the checkbox and see how it behaves, what's the value, okay? So I, I'm going to get the name of the checkbox and here in the text property of this label, I'm going to try to access the value of this element. So here in the text property, I'm going to put the name of the checkbox dot value. The value will give me the result of the selection. Once I put here, I will see that I have the true value written here. Here is our boolean. Okay, if I play the app and if I uncheck, then we get the false. So here is true or false. This is a true a boolean value. Let's see now for this toggle button. I'm going to copy and paste this label. And I'm going to replace the name of the checkbox by the name of the toggle. So let me copy the name of the toggle button and replace here. Okay, now I'm accessing the value of the toggle button and I can see that it has the true in here. Once I unselect or I turned off, it will become false. Okay, so far it's still useless in this situation. I just don't want to show this in a label. But let's do an example with this image right here. Okay, I want to show or hide the image based on this selection on my toggle button. Okay, so in the image, if we click on it, we see that we have the property called visible. See, and here we also have a toggle button that we can turn on and off, and that will result in a true or false value. If we look here in the top in the visible property, we see true right now. But if I unselect, if I, if I turn off, we are going to see false. 
Okay, so instead of getting from this property right here, we can relate to this toggle that's inside my app where the user can play with it. So I'm going to get the name of the toggle and in the visible property, I'm going to replace the true by the toggle on off dot value. And that will give me the true or false based on this selection right here on this element. Okay, let's play. Right now it's false. It means the visible property is false. So it's hiding the image. Once I click on, on say mark it as a on, the property will become true in the visible property of the image and it will then show the image. Okay, that's one use for the booleans, using true or false to conditionally hide or show things. We also have expressions inside the app that will return true or false when we want to compare things. And this I will explain in the next video. So please click on the, the suggestion that will appear in the end of this video and watch it to understand better how we can use booleans inside the app to compare things inside expressions, okay? We wait to see you there. Thanks for watching this video until here and let me know in the comments if it was useful or not. Bye-bye.